Hi and welcome back to World Under Epic. So this is uh, my progress right now on the in the USSR tree. I managed to master the T34E SDZ and the T3485T5T. T5T. I still haven't mastered the KV165 yet. Two or one more is to go. But Days. Huh. Today's uh, theme will be American tanks. Four point seven, four point three. So let's take. Uh, this lower tier I would take this with me but 4.7 and 4.3 that's quite a difference let's try with these I'm not sure what the matchmaking uh, is for the 76 if we see things like the KV2 and such then I'll take the Hellcat if not then I won't Oh, it has user skins as well. I didn't know. I should check that up this badly. And pick a random one for the episode. Let's try to go this way, at the beer, the beer gap. Let's see the KV2 here. Nope, so I will not take the Hellcat. That T-34 died. Got his loader. Enemy kill assist. There's an SMK here. Uh, ricochet ricochet uh, from the ground into my turret
also they uh, fixed the bug uh, where when the gunner got knocked out your tank reset the reset the reload as you noticed when my gunner came back or my gunner was replaced then uh, it didn't reload again that's because the bug is fixed now so that's good Right now the main problem is that I can only I can only penetrate the KV-1 from certain spots but he can penetrate me from anywhere as you saw that went right through the front I yeah. I haven't played with the US tanks for quite a while. Even off cam. Because I have been trying to ready myself for the recording sessions, pretty much. Here's the sea. Let's see if we can do something about sea. Not exactly, because there's a murder. I can't move. Why can't I move? Oh, I don't have the engine anymore. Have a well, at least I captured C. However, I'm a sitting duck. Well, not anymore. You don't have a gunner anymore. And you're gone. However, you did manage to get my truck, so props for that. My tank is so dirty.
That was a close one. But not close enough, I guess. We have all three bases, so... They are pretty, pretty much gone. If we manage to hold this. Gunner and loader. Nice. I'm gonna move now so that I won't get hit by the arty. I managed to hit him, but uh, not well enough, and I can't tame that high. Missed that shot. Let's try again. Got his track, so he's a sitting duck right there. Yes, I hit. Radiator. Let's see. Assist. Good. Hi. That did that for 57 managed it. So now I am AA with no aircraft because the game is over. Oh, there is an aircraft. Got it, but sadly it doesn't count as a kill because it was after the winning credit was given. Twenty three point five K Lions. And 2700 RP, 1600 points, 4 assists, 2 ground kills. Good. So let's see about these. Let's take this one. Hmm. Or this one, maybe this one is interesting. I would just like camel. Camel. Oh well. Let's take this then. Oh, bright yellow. Good thing no one else can see this. Uh, 
and this doesn't have any okay hopefully that the broken one didn't reset nope it didn't I think I will uh, make this off camera. Let's go with the. What? Oh, it's the only one I have av available right now here. Oh no, it isn't. I have this and I have this. They're all 4.7s. So I have three tanks for at the German side, so let's uh, go with them. I'll do the US one off camera because it's just this one tank. And I didn't even check these. Oh, me. Actually, I will uh, do uh, US tanks today, but I will... I will go into a bad matchmaking with the 76 just to get it mastered. I will take out the Hellcat and the M6 A1. That was a waste of a shot. First strike and it took me such a long time to do it. Interesting. Let's try into the turret. Right here. No luck. Good. Next week I might also tap into the aircraft, but since I want to master them all, then I will probably start from the pipelines again. I'm not sure what what I have mastered or not, I haven't even looked at the aircraft tables for, or the aircraft research tree for a really long time. But I might. 
well I guess you'll find out uh, in the next week's episode because by the time I rec uh, by the time I'll do it or play it by, uh, by then I should have uh, an idea what to do today I wanted to do US tanks for example although I'm currently in a German tank but I'll still go through with the US tanks after this battle I'll just uh, bring the 76 to a more interesting matchmaker matchmaking queue it'll go against the uh, KV-2s and SU-152s and such got a scanner good Hi. Destroyed. Oh, hello. 105. Can't see it. Well, it's no more, so doesn't matter. Not only do I have to figure out whether I want to do aircraft next week or not, I also have to figure out which nation I will choose, because I'd like to have a theme throughout an episode. Well, I'm saying uh, this while I'm breaking the theme right now. God, I'm bad. Oh well. Nations are kinda like themes, because each nation's uh, vehicles uh, play differently. In War Thunder's case, uh, not a lot, or not much differently, but uh, they still have their differences in characteristics. Martyr 3 Hi there Machine gunner sadly Can't move my gun Let's repair here, this seems to be a safe spot. Then I'll help capture Z. My help wasn't even needed. However, there's that stock. 
transmission. Perfect. He can't move. Let's try that side. Oh god. Why, KV1? The KV1 just probably killed me. I might have got that kill. If it wasn't for that KV-1. I really don't like it when... Uh, when people just... crash in... Uh, when uh, people see you aiming at an enemy and then they just drive into you because they are in sniper view all the time. Can't blame them that that's the only wheel they can use. Let's see if we can find that the medium. Loader commander, nice. Let's try to shoot into his hull, hull or chassis. Never mind, we got the assist. There's still this guy. I'm loading. For a while though. Radiator and engine. Oh god, he's aiming at me. Don't you dare. That's done. Now there's the Panzer 3 J1 over there. Or the Panzer 4. They are everywhere now. Jesus. And now all hell broke loose. Gunner and loader. Uh, that, those are my side panels that just flew off. Still quite good. Okay, let's go back to the Americans and bring them 6A1 and the Hellcat. And take off this. Let's see if they have any interesting camos. This one only has one and I, if I remember correctly it doesn't work.
and the Hellcat, I'm sure that this has skins. For sure. This works. Let's take the Hellcat out first because I want to see how it works in this game. We got the same map but but with this time oh conquest again. No, I don't need eight cheese. Completely stock M eighteen gun motor carriage. It can climb, and its turret actually moves. Unlike certain other games. Look how quickly this turret moves. I guess it I guess it's a different version. Oh, actually, I know, uh, I just remembered what I wanted to do next week. I, next week I wanted to do uh, sim battles, sim mode. So aircraft is on hold for another week. I wanted to do sim mode with random tanks which aren't uh, mastered yet. Or actually which are mastered. Because I prefer doing sim mode with a fully equipped tank. Well, this definitely isn't a, a frontline tank, that's for sure. So our very first battle was completely pointless. Let's take the 76 next, because it's the lowest. Go around there. Thank you. 
go up here. No one around here, eh? Okay. Let's go there then. AI tanks are better than nothing, I guess. Oh, hi. Got this gunner. But that was a bounce. And he also bounced. can see parts of him, but I can't hit them very well. Undamaged. Jeez, I hate that he destroys my gun barrel all the time. At the cannon breach. I'm gonna go rush him. Might be my death, but who knows. Oh well, lucky bastards. I'm gonna destroy him with the M6's uh, smaller gun then. I could have flanked him somehow, but... Oh well. Eh, he died. Also, that's a lesson for you. If you want to stay alive, then don't rush.
try to find ways around him. Smarter, smartest thing to do would have been to flank him. But that just, just she just couldn't be asked to play as the 76 anymore. Double hit. That's painful. Oh god. That's a KV2. Well then, that's me done. Because the T-3457 is the most powerful tank uh, in tier 3. KV-2 is, uh, isn't actually that great. It can do a lot of damage, but... Not as much as the T-3457. T-3457 can penetrate anything from any angle and any side. In my experience, anyway. So, it wasn't uh, a miracle that he got the kill there. However, it is kinda a miracle that the KV-2 managed to do so much damage to me. Against heavies, KV-2 is usually quite useless. Although I have... Well, it either one-shots or it does nothing, usually. Nothing in between. But, it... Sometimes you, get, you can get lucky and it will destroy the... Usually it destroys the gun barrel. And uh, maybe the, the maybe wounds the gunner behind it, but that's about it. Forty-four thousand people online. Let's go with the weakest tank first. Then the Hellcat and then the M6. Although in the previous battle the M4 was the most useful tank somehow. Let me do it, so Oh, there's a Hellcat. See any enemies around here? Allied forces have captured a zone. No. Oh, one is. One or two are at sea. Yeah, 3457. I'm dead, I can't do anything against that that thing.
Well, I'm a lucky bastard. I'm a really lucky bastard because I escaped the 57. It is louder, but it doesn't do anything because the 57 has really fast. It has extremely fast uh, reload speed anyway. It being hard is it uh, is as if I remember correctly, it's still faster than my tank uh, with the, its full reload time intact. There are, so far, what I, from what I've played uh, in sim mode, there are three, uh, yeah, three amazing tanks in sim mode. The premium T-3457, Tiger 1, the original one. I don't know about the second one, because as you saw, I don't have it yet. Uh, and uh, the Tiger 2. But the Tiger 2 is the lesser of these. In sim mode, I mean. See what's here. So an enemy. And another one. Fuel tank. Nice. Okay, I guess I should get out of here. So, <sighs> such a narrow road. Oh, I wanted to shoot him more. Maybe it would have done some dam some damage. The KV one might still be there. Might being the keyword. Gonna run louder, so he's rushing to his death and can't do anything against us.
Haha. <laughs> got the got hit some the aircraft. Okay, let's see if we can do anything about that guy. Come out. Because I can't move anyway. How did he reload so fast? He only just moments ago destroyed the D-34 next to me. And then suddenly he was reloaded again. Interesting. My T-34 85T5T does not reload that fast, that's for sure. I wonder. Oops. My bad. <laughs> Sometimes... You do make mistakes. And sometimes those mistakes will destroy you. GM18 definitely isn't made for city maps like this. Boom. However, my transmission is gone. Yep, my transmission is forever gone because this tank is stuck. So, I am unable to repair myself. Maybe there will be more enemies. There is someone around there. That someone isn't coming out. Ow. I can't repair my track. Both of my tracks. While I'm definitely afraid to everyone, I can also fight against them if they come to this road.
but only if they show themselves on this road. Well, we have one. Got this gunner. But my loader is gone, so I'm reloading forever. Win on hand. Well then, I think that this is it for this week. I've been going on for quite a while now. So let's uh, check out the results of the final battle of the episode. They are probably quite terrible. Not that bad actually. Almost 3000 RP and 17700 lions. 5 assists, 1 ground kill and 1585 points. Not bad at all, and I got the FP, the fire prevention equipment, for the M4. So next I will take the adjustment of fire. Let's put the levels in. And just uh, starting from today, I will once again adjust level uh, the lowest level item or the cheapest to get the nice and to get the high level total level uh, for buying these qualifications all of them 6 qualification is quite expensive 230,000 but I will eventually buy them all I have a few here like the stock 3G I think uh, this is the correct crew yeah I have two experts here All of these uh, should have experts by now, I think. Because why not, right? It gives uh, permanent bonuses to all, to certain skills. Okay, but I think that this is it for this week then, as I said earlier. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.